Wow, welcome to my Amazon haul. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is something a little bit different. I have been shopping on Amazon pretty hardcore. I had a massive delivery turn up and I was busy putting everything away and then I thought, what am I doing? I should definitely share with you guys everything that I've bought recently. Okay, so the company I work for, we are moving to a brand new office tomorrow. I honestly feel like I have been waiting for this new office to change my life a little bit in terms of getting up early, exercising, not spending so much money on coffee, breakfast, lunches. So basically anything and everything about this new version of me is due to start tomorrow and I really wasn't prepared for it. So I had to buy some stuff to get me to be that girl. So first things first. I've got some lunch boxes and these were amazing value, okay? So these were around 20 dirham each. They are microwave safe, freezer safe, and also dishwasher safe. I've got a pink, a green, and then also this lovely little beigey color. It comes with this little opening up the top and it comes with a little fork and spoon. So inside you've got this little three compartment tray and then it sits inside this box. So another thing that has taken all my money is Starbucks matcha latte. This is a little side note. For anyone who wants to try matcha latte, I would 110% recommend going to Starbucks and trying their matcha first because I am yet to have another one that I personally enjoy as much. Pour yourself an iced or a hot matcha latte, have it with coconut milk and have it with sugar-free vanilla syrup. And I swear, it is the most gorgeous thing in the entire universe. I was lovingly introduced to this by my friend, Sophia Hampson, and I have just been spreading that glorious concoction with everyone I meet in Dubai. But I am done with giving Starbucks all my money. And I'm thinking, is it gonna be a nice morning ritual for me to do my own? So first things first is, matcha powder. It's made with 100% pure Japanese ground green tea powder and there's roughly 25 servings in here. As I mentioned, I have it with coconut milk. I find it really odd that I've ordered milk from Amazon, but it's actually the cheapest place to order your non-dairy milks. Another key ingredient is the sugar-free vanilla and I'm 99% sure that this is the exact same brand that Starbucks use. And of course I had to buy a pump to go with it as well. I did make the rookie mistake of opening this lid and then popping this straight in it. But this is so full that you have to use some of this before you can use the pump because it literally was just gonna come straight out of the bottle. The next thing that is absolutely key to making a matcha latte is having a ceremony kit. So this is my ceremony kit and it comes with a whisking bowl. It also comes with a sieve so that you can put your matcha powder into the bowl using this sieve. It also comes with a little spoon. There is definitely a Japanese word to describe what this is. And then you also need one of these little Japanese whisks and you use that in the bowl to whisk up your matcha powder. It came with basically everything I needed. It also had this very cute little duck. Now I've got everything to actually make my matcha latte. And the final thing I needed was a travel mug because I'm planning on getting up in the morning and making my matcha so that I can have it as my morning drink. So I was on the hunt for a thermal mug and I found this really cute baby pink one. The review said that it is leak proof, which is so freaking important to me. So yeah, there's not really much to say about this at all apart from this is what it looks like. And then it also has a little sippy part as well. Also to go alongside my new life, <laughs> I decided to finally purchase an air fryer. I honestly did not spend long looking into the different makes and models of air fryer, but my mum actually has a Ninja and she has the dual compartment Ninja and she swears by it. So I added it to my basket. I checked out, I bought it, I've got it. I have cooked chicken in it and some vegetables so far. So to make me feel like I am the head chef of the air frying kitchen situation, I purchased a digital meat thermometer so that I could stick this little probe thing into the meat and get a reading, check it against a safe temperature checklist. And then because I'm built the way I'm built, I also cut it open just to check that I think it's cooked as well. So effectively removing the need for one of these, but 
maybe one day I will start to trust this. I also picked up this little mist bottle because you know the majority of things you can cook with just hot air. There are some things that you definitely have to use oil on. So I bought this to put some olive oil into it. And it also came with an oil brush as well. So I can like coat things with oil if I need to, which sounds super unhealthy and not like who I'm gonna be tomorrow. I was doing some research and I also joined some air frying Facebook community groups. Literally everyone and their dog were saying that you need to buy silicone little trays. And the idea of it is that they go in the bottom of the air fryer and then you can just hoik it out and then you haven't got to clean your air fryer. Even though my air fryer is actually dishwasher safe, as in the compartments are dishwasher safe, but there definitely will be occasions where I'm just gonna be cooking like the odd little thing and then it'll be perfect to stick it in this rather than putting it and making a whole compartment really messy. Also for my new hydrated life, I picked up this one litre thermal water bottle and it's actually amazing. I swear, this has been life changing. I have not drank anywhere near the amount of water as I have in the last week owning this bottle. So this is by a brand called Boz. I also bought Adam one as well. I got him it in black and he is exactly the same. He has drank so much more water since having this. I actually could not recommend a better water bottle. It is so lovely. We're gonna move on to a few things that I've bought for little Bonnie dearest, bless her soul. I am also on a Cavapoo Facebook group. Yeah, I am. And there's been so many devastated pet parents on that group recently talking about how their dog's teeth have had to be removed because they didn't clean them enough. I was just browsing Amazon as you do and I came across this toothbrush and this is not a standard toothbrush. There is one, two, three, four. There's four heads on this toothbrush. It covers the bottom and the sides of the teeth. It is such a good toothbrush. And I also picked up this, this enzymatic toothpaste as well, made with neem oil and enzymes. Gently cleans away plaque and tartar, formulated for dogs. So yeah, these aren't a set, but these are the things I bought to use with each other. And the last thing I bought for Bonnie Dearest is a antler. So these are 100% natural, these are proper antlers and they are the best thing I have ever purchased for Bonnie in terms of a toy or a chewing thing. She is the type of dog that you would expect to give her a cuddly toy and she would just like run around with it. But no, she tears the thing up and absolutely like executes it. When you're buying antlers, you can buy them as a full antler or you can buy them as a split, which means that it's literally cut down the middle so that the marrow is exposed. And they last for so, so long. I honestly think I could be sat here in 10 months time showing you this because it just, they just don't disappear. But this is a laptop slash computer cleaning kit. <laughs> The things that bring me happiness in my late 20s. So first of all, if I just take off the lid, you've got a little key collector. So this little pink thing, you can literally go into your keyboard, pick up a key, take it out, and then you can give the key a really good clean. Next up, you've got this little cleaning tool. This silicone end is meant to clean out AirPods. And then you've also got a little bristle brush as well, which you can use in AirPods because it's really tiny. And then you've also got this end that is meant to clean out charging ports. Then you've got a little cleaning solution spray bottle. So you can spray your computer screen. And on the back, you've got a little microfiber washer. So you can spray and then you can use this to like wipe down your screen, which is so cool. And and then on this end, you've got a really big bristle brush. So again, you could like clean in between all your keys and stuff. But yeah, I just feel like we spend a lot of time on our laptops and computers and I feel like it should ideally be cleaned probably way more than we actually clean them. So yeah, I bought one for Adam and one for me. I also picked up an additional cleaning solution to fill up those two bottles when we run out. Moving on to some products. So I tend to buy all of our washing detergent, all of our fabric conditioner, all of our cleaning products, everything and anything is purchased on Amazon. So this is our current washing detergent. This is the Purcell Power Gel. 
I know this is a super boring purchase, but I feel like a lot of my viewers are people who are also considering moving to Dubai and it might be quite handy for you to know how much it is to buy cleaning detergent and just random stuff that you need for your house. And likewise, I also buy my shampoo and conditioner from Amazon as well. So I'm currently using Pantene Pro-V. This is the anti-hair fall. And I actually don't personally struggle with hair fall, even though I know a lot of people in Dubai really do struggle. But I feel like I'm always nervous and as if my luck is gonna run out. So that's why I bought the reduced hair fall shampoo and conditioner. Talking of hair and hair care, I have been absolutely TikTok influenced by a scalp massager. I have actually used it and I used it when I put in all my shampoo and then I just gave my head a good old um, massage. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I felt like I was worried it was doing damage rather than good because I was thinking, is my hair snapping as I'm proper getting in there? But yeah, I don't know, I don't know. As I said, I don't really particularly suffer with hair loss so i don't know fully why i bought this but i did so i'm showing it with this scalp massager you got four of these as well you know the shower doofer thingies i also buy the majority of my shower gels on amazon unless bath and body works have got a really good deal on so i've been buying the saint ives body wash which might surprise a lot of people i feel like there is a meme that goes around talking about how bad saint ives is for your skin in terms of their apricot scrub and I was such a victim to the apricot scrub back in the day and I literally woke up the next day with a thousand and one spots and my mum was like Katie your skin is and I was like I know you don't even have to tell me because I know how bad it is it was so bad so I did honestly err on the side of caution when using the St. Ives body washes, but I tried their coconut one a couple of months ago and it was gorgeous. And now I thought it was time to move on to the oatmeal and shea butter one. And honestly, I really do love their body washes because they are one of the most affordable body washes available on Amazon. Um, and everything here is so expensive. Like, you know, in the UK, you could go into a shop and you could go buy a body wash for a pound. Like that just does, honestly, that does not exist here. Um, or if it does, it's in random shops where you have to actually venture in to and I just don't have time for that so I buy majority of stuff on Amazon and this would probably cost me around four pounds um, but yeah that is the cheapest that I could possibly get my hands on for the convenience of getting a drop to my front door I've got a few other hair things to show you the first thing is this wax stick so again maybe I've been influenced by this but I see a lot of gorgeous girls doing their hair in little updos and then they use a stick wait how the hell do you get this out Oh, you push. <laughs> I see all these really gorgeous girls doing their hair in gorgeous updos, and then they use one of these wax sticks to secure all of their little flyaways. And I'm really excited to have one of these. This weekly, oh, this weekly treatment is so concentrated. Just a small amount is needed for hair to become soft and shining in minutes. Oh, okay. I thought this was to take down, I thought this was to cure flyaways. It says you must have a sense of humor to use our products. For a soft, pliable hold, feet creates texture. What? Stint hair apply in a circular motion. Our hair apply from root through. <laughs> I think it is a wax stick for flyaways, but it also looks like a mini treatment where you can also have soft and shining hair in minutes. So, I mean, way more than I bargained for. Something else that made its way into my basket was a new tangle teaser. And I've got the old school tangle teasers, the ones that you hold. My hair is quite long and it is so much easier to brush my hair with a handled hairbrush. Something else I picked up is 12 of the duck bill clips, I think they're called. So I'm assuming they're called duck clips because of the way that they look. Uh, but yeah, I really needed some of these. Don't want to mention the fire again but my last ones either blew up or are somewhere in storage and it's just it's got to the point where i just have to start replenishing stuff so yeah got 12 of these these are actually from tony and guy interestingly bought the dyson air wrap a short while ago and as much as i absolutely love it so much and as much as i love it the thing that i do struggle with is keeping the look 
for multiple days. I was actually sent a TikTok the other day of a girl who has found a way to keep your hair continually bouncy and blow dried. And it was using a sock and also these flexible twist rollers. So I got a pack of 30 or 36, I can't remember now, um, but the idea is that you put these into a sock and then you wrap your curl around them and you go to sleep, you wake up the next day and you have got a beautiful hairdo. I will also link the TikTok below as well. Next up is a SPF. This is SPF 50 and I have been so overwhelmed with the choice of SPF out there. Again, I just typed it into Amazon and out popped this one with incredible reviews. So this is 1% hyaluronic sunscreen screen aqua gel and I've used it today and it's almost like it sinks straight into my skin and I've really enjoyed using it. It's also fragrance free. It's also described as being a quick absorbing formula which I definitely do agree with. So right now I've got absolutely no gripes about this. Would I repurchase? Yes I would. Okay last and final thing that I'm showing you today is the Skin Doctor Sulfur Soap. So when I first moved to Dubai about two months into being here I broke out absolutely horrendous and it was not a normal acne scenario. I was dealing with something way more severe and it took months for it to go away and the only thing that gave it the final kaboot out of the door was this so the skin doctor sulfur soap my absolute savior and i still use it every day even though i don't suffer with acne anymore that brings us to the grand finale of this amazon haul i hope you enjoyed it let me know what your favorite thing is or if you're going to be buying any of this stuff thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video I'm sorry if I I'm sorry if I I'm sorry if I I'm sorry if I